I just want to, is it Langacker or Langacker? Or? Langacker. Langacker. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's Nick Akin here, South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts in Bangkok, Thailand with Tommy Langaka. How are you doing, Tommy? I'm doing great. I'm getting rid of the final weight now and feeling very good. How's my pronunciation on that? Uh, it's good. It's uh, better than most. Okay. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. I feel bad. Though. I normally get them really wrong for everyone. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's been a while, yeah, it's been a while. I've been out with an injury. I pulled my groin in the summer, so I, it, I had some time off. And um, I had some health issues, and now I'm good. Now I'm back and, and ready to go. Yeah, you've got Yuali Kurjev on Saturday morning here, lightweight submission grappling bout. Uh, what are you expecting from this one? I'm expecting a high pace, solid fight, every, a lot of things happening, and uh, me walking out with a victory. Yeah, and uh, a victory would put you in a pretty good spot, wouldn't it, for a shot at the champ. Uh, I believe he's called you out as well, uh, Mr. Rotolo. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, we met in the ADCC um, and after party we had some exchange of words and uh, we kind of agreed that we wanted to fight each other and uh, it was really nice he him, hearing him calling me out. I really want that fight. I was pushing for that fight, but they told me I needed to go um, and go back do one more fight and then like uh, make my spot in for the title and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a perfect situation right now and i'm ready to go yeah Kay has had a couple of big wins here but do you think he's really fought real competition you know we have a lot of these bjj versus sambo matchups as well do you think he's finally going to get a real test if he takes on you i think he has a real test when he comes uh, fighting me it's because my style is very unorthodox like his style i love the scrambles i i thrive in the scrambles and he has struggles uh with people that are good at scrambling uh, i'm physically strong uh, i am agile i'm i have stamina i i can fight in any position both top bottom i can do standing and like i don't think he has faced anybody like me so i think i would be a good matchup for him and again i think it would be in my victory if you, what happened backstage there or after the ADCC? What were the words? Were they, they pleasant or unpleasant words? No, we were both drunk. So kind of, <laughs> you know, it was, uh, we both had a good camp and uh, we just exchanged words. I've known them since they were very young and, and like, um, it, it, it's just, it's just friendly words. And uh, we just kind of agreed we wanted to test each other, you know, and uh, he's ready to, to fight the best and I'm ready to fight the best. And uh, we both believe we can come up with a victory, so we're both very confident in ourselves. So, all respect to him, but uh, like uh, I'm very confident. I've been doing this my whole life, and I'm ready to to test it for the championship belt. Yeah, and I know Cade and his twin brother Ty. They have, they have some strong opinions about uh, performance enhancing drugs in the sport. Do you feel there's a problem with that on the uh, professional scene? Is that is that something you have an opinion about? Of course, like um, it's uh, it's something that is nowadays seems like it's becoming more and more normalized it's becoming more i don't know if it's because of social media or what it is but it seems to be like it's it's so in the open but people kind of just push it under the rug and i think it's a big problem we have that we need to take uh, take care of and we need to get rid of it as fast as possible but right now it's uh, it's a sport in in the in the starting phase of professionalism so it can only go upwards from here so uh, i think in in five five years time we're going to see a very different sport and very different athletes coming up and rotolos are great examples for the young athletes for the one coming up and uh, so yeah it's just pushing that i me and espen coming from norway always have have had a strong belief from my team that we we have um, we have strong belief in ourselves and our our training and we've come very far just just eating potatoes and meat you know <laughs> so it's been good so far and uh, we we encourage our students in this and everybody around those seminars and so on uh yeah and do you feel one is doing enough with their drug testing because they have a new anti-doping partner i know since august last year uh do you feel that it's more under control here and uh, when in the grappling side it's definitely in the right direction and uh like if it's testing it's testing and uh I know it, it. It's still in the new, in the beginning phase, so it needs to be like people are smart, and like most of the times, it it's more of an IQ test more than than a than a drug test. 
So like is the people that do it, they see they have people around them that can support their usage and tell them exactly what to do and when to do it and how not to do it and so on. So they have a good support team around it. So, but uh, yeah, if as long as it's testing, it kind of inhibits the 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 mass amount of uh, usage, I guess. All right. Uh, well, you have a, a tough challenge on Saturday again. Why don't we talk a little bit about him again? Uh, you are Lee uh, we, we, know, we do know that Kade Rutolo is obviously very talented, but yeah, you're expecting a, a really tough test here, I imagine, too. Yeah, Iwali is uh, like he's a four time world champion in Sambo, so he's no joke. He, you can't just walk through such a guy. Uh, I met him here in the lobby. He's a strong opponent. He's, uh, he's a tough guy. And uh, like, but it, it's, it's, now it's it's grappling it's not sambo so i think that kind of goes into my favor same as it did with uh, with Cade or and uh, so i think it's 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 in my ball in my court right now and we're going to be fighting on my terms a little bit and uh, i think it's i'm excited for it i know he he changed up a lot of stuff and uh, after his last fight so it's going to be fun to see what he comes with do so you think some fans aren't maybe giving the Sambo guys enough credit? Uh, you know, are they really a threat to the, the traditional grappling guys here? I think they're getting enough, uh, like, because Sambo has such a strong fan base when, like, in their inner circle. I think they, it's just like we as jujitsu people kind of live in our own echo chamber. Yeah. So we kind of see, like, what all the jujitsu people or people that are associated with jujitsu are talking about. So I guess in Sambo, Sambo people, they kind of have their other view of it. Like they, they see their own, like they hear like Sambo is this, Sambo is that, it's going to crush this and that, you know. And uh, it's, it's very similar, but also very different. So yeah, it's going to be fun to see. And uh, yeah, do you, do you feel any pressure as well to, to get to that finish, you know, to make this exciting, you know, as, as someone representing this world in one championship is quite new. A lot of the fans, especially maybe here in Thailand, aren't used to seeing that. Uh, yeah, will you be going for a spectacular finish? That's what I'm saying. I, we have a lot of pressure, like with jiu-jitsu in one championship and professional jiu-jitsu is so, so new. So we have, we have a responsibility on our back that we have to make it exciting. We have to push the pace. We want to be pushing the, pushing the limits of, uh, of, uh, of the fight. And uh, we need to do our best and uh, get the submission. I'm, I know for sure I'm going to go in there and do a, my everything to get that. I want that 50,000 bonus. You know, it's going to do good in my bank account. <laughs> and uh, I want to, um, yeah, I just want to showcase what I'm good for. I've been in the game for so long. My name is there, but I want to showcase Norwegian, Scandinavian, and European jiu-jitsu, show that we have, like, I want to be a pioneer in what we have and I want to show my youth that that is possible to make a living become big even though we don't have like we we had don't have like the world class in every corner we can still make it like it doesn't matter you don't have to go to the states brazil or whatever you can you, if you believe enough you can you can just train stay with your guys and just like develop and uh, yeah go in there and just take the head of the guy well, I'm looking forward to it. Tommy Langaka against Yuali Kurjev Saturday, 1597. Don't miss it.